I'm here today to announce that President, the President's Office of <coughs> Employee Training, POET, will be rebranded as Cook County Works under a major restructuring headed by Cook County Works Director Karen Norrington Reeves. The name change comes as the agency refocuses its mission, reduces its staff, and streamlines operations. The county also has several economic development capacities that have historically been underutilized. We have a real opportunity to redefine Cook County as the economic hub of the Midwest. Workforce development and job training are particularly critical as we continue to struggle through a prolonged economic downturn. I'm pleased to announce today that we have set forth a series of major reforms to reinvent the way that we serve our residents. Currently, POET has 56 staff positions. As Cook County works, that, that number will be reduced to 33. The reduction will allow the agency to realize a significant savings on personnel expenses. About 4.9 million, or more than 35% of the agency's 13.5 million annual budget is spent on personnel. The staff results were the result, the staff reductions were the result of a comprehensive review by the agency's staff that was overseen by Karen Norrington Reeves. Through this process, we identified opportunities to free up resources for direct programming. There were numerous redundant positions and job titles, as well as positions that were misidentified. Cook County Works will fall under the purview of the Bureau of Economic Development, which oversees the county's Department of Community Development, our capital planning function, and the Department of Building and Zoning. Cook County Works reforms that begin now with the goal of completing the restructuring by August. A new accountability manager will be tasked with auditing subgrant recipients, those are our delegate agencies out in the communities, and assuring their compliance with state and federal laws. A special projects manager will oversee programs to assist target populations, including young persons and veterans. As President Preckwinkle laid out, we are moving towards a new day within employment and training and the Workforce Development Agency tasked with serving the south and western west suburban Cook County. As we move to a streamlined agency, we have redefined our focus and we're going to focus on training, which is our task under the Workforce Investment Act, but we're also going to focus on aligning our training with employment opportunities and creating more employment opportunities for the clients that we serve. So we will focus through our special projects section on creating on-the-job training opportunities, not only for youth, but also for ex-offenders and for veterans. This is something that we've done, but not in a targeted, focused way. So we're expanding that particular section. One of the things that I noticed when assessing our agency is that we had a lot of titles, a lot of uh, job functions that didn't really match the job descriptions. And so what we've done is really look at what makes sense from a structural perspective and will enable us to actually carry out our mission. And so we've realigned the agency and realigned some of the areas of focus, uh, not only with the special projects, but we've also, we're going to be moving out of the direct service provision business. We are the only agency north of I-80 that is still providing direct services and case management, um, which is something that many other agencies abandoned long ago. And so we will be issuing an RFP in the next couple of weeks to have service providers come in and take over the operations of our one-stop service centers, and we will move to administering our grants and really focusing on creating job opportunities for the clients that we serve. The, the two things that you've heard most of all is we're going to move into a new area of what's called service delivery and accountability with the restructuring of this department. And that's most important for us here in Cook County. You've heard some of our challenges in the past with this department. I think the president's office, along with our new director, we're moving forward with some more succinct things that are going to really help us to be measured in a way that you can be more responsive and we can be more responsive to the public that we're offering our services to. So I think the accountability is most important to those individuals who are beginning to serve across Cook County in a more diligent way and a more efficient way. So I think that's a, a very good thing for us here in Cook County. But the most important thing, we're cutting out bureaucracy. The behind the scenes things that you haven't seen uh, in the past is, is what you've kind of 
we've been caught up in is the bureaucracy in the internal part of our departments. And so we're loosening the bureaucracy internally. We're streamlining the, the, the number of staff people that we have in our organization so we can be more efficient in our delivery of service and more accountability with our staff as well. And I think that's most important with the president and our new director making sure that this is going to be a program that's going to move forward in a more efficient way, in a more popular way with our public so we can give more people the opportunity to get jobs. The other thing that I don't think the uh, director mentioned, and we're tying several departments together so they can begin to work, to work together. So economic development is going to work as we're helping to bring more businesses and small businesses into Cook County. We're going to be tying them to our job opportunities here in Cook County. And so joining these departments under one roof, having them work together is going to be more, impo more important to the populace of Cook County moving forward. So I'm very pleased to thank the president and also our director for moving in this direction at this time. Hopefully by August you'll begin to see some new results around Cook County in our delivery of service in this department. I believe that the announcement this morning that the former uh, uh, office of the President's Office of Employment and Training signals that the department is being restructured, it is being modernized, and most importantly, it is putting the resources with frontline providers throughout Cook County to ensure that people are put back to work, that there is transparency, and that the resources are being put where we get the biggest bang to putting people to work throughout Cook County. I welcome it, and I think this is a part of the direction that Cook County government needs to go and has taken important steps toward that goal. Thank you.